Why hello there beautiful people and welcome to OTT. In this drift tour we're going to be covering the BMW 1 Series M Coupe Stance Work Edition. Now this drift setup is one of my personal favourites, it's taking quite a bit of tuning. After these short clips you will get the full setup and then we'll move on to track and I'll talk you through just a little bit of how I drift the car. Crazy, until I reached out and saw your Once we've applied those settings to your car, we are out on circuit, as always, it's the BRNO circuit. And I do love this livery on this car, it's uh, very in your face, but it's very drifty, typey, and I like it. Let's hop in, info on screen, where are you, there we go. Now this car does have electric boost, which can be a bit irritating, so you do need to try and keep aware of that when you've got the boost and when you haven't. Apart from that, it's not too much of an issue. Now on cold tyres, it is very eager to get the back end out and I'm just trying to keep it from spinning. There we go. <laughs> it is a very good car. It's uh, it's kind of fixed most of the problems that the original uh, 1M had on this game. Um, you just didn't really have the power that you needed. This car kind of fills that gap. And gentle. <laughs> oh, I do love this car so we're just Tapped a little bit of brakes there just because the corner tightens up. Power kind of bogged down on the exit, but eh, no biggie. It's a really lovely car to drift. I spent two hours this morning drifting this car online on a Bannock Brace circuit, the road circuit. It was a great laugh. We're going a bit fast there, but if we just drop a gear, even though we're touching the edge, we'll be fine. Now, this gear's a bit, this corner's a bit awkward for this car because the gearing, uh, you know, so it's kind of third, it bogs down there, but drop it into second. <laughs> I love this car. Oh, absolute jizzing in my pants, right? So anyone that's out there that actually says stuff to you like, no, you can't drift on project cars. <laughs> um, you were saying. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely car. It's taken not that long to tune this car, surprisingly. It was rather eager to be made to drift so with a few tweaks to the setup and a few miles testing it's really pulled off as a great drift car i don't know if it replaces the rocket bunny in my favorites but 
Uh, I need to do the Rocket Bunny update tutorial, which will hopefully be coming out soon. I do promise it is a magnificent setup and it is worth waiting for. The original setup for the Rocket Bunny, from me at least, wasn't perfect. But the new 2016 updated model, which I have been promising for a while now, I, I do apologise, I've been very delayed with my content recently. But it is in the pipeline and it will be coming to you and hopefully you'll be able to demolish people in online lobbies with that setup because it is a monster. Oh yes, now third into here. Going a bit wide, let it... Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> now as you can see, the tyres have sort of heated up at the rear. We've already lost quite a bit of tread from doing one lap. So once again, I will stress with this game, part of your driving style when it comes to drifting is understanding tyre temperature management and tyre wear management. So we're coming to this corner, third gear. Tap on the brakes. We'll drop to second and then kick up to third. Oh, third was a bit of a mistake, but still held it. Because you have the torque band to worry about. And plus, I don't know if the electric's kicking in or not. Because I've got this display on it. Normally, I don't drive with this display. I just drive with this display for you beautiful people. So you can see what I'm doing with the controls. But it is such a... The one thing I, this makes these tutorials a lot easier for me to make is that my new method of setting up cars, thanks to a few people out there in the community that have helped me along the way and taught me about how real world engineering and how certain things work, this car drifts much more like a traditional drift car. So if you use your normal techniques that you'd be more than comfortable with, then you'll fit straight into this car. There's not much to really say, it's just mind that electric boost. Right, we've got a new set of tyres, mainly because two laps this seems to be the uh, biting point for these tyres where they just go, no, I need a break. So it's okay, I don't mind, I'll go into the pit, it only takes me two seconds and we're back out on nice tyres. <laughs> it is so much fun, uh, I hope you do enjoy this car. Uh, maybe we should do a little flick, shouldn't we? I think we should. A bit too much on the exit, take out the 200! Ah! <laughs> Coming into this corner, we're going to go in at third gear, give it a bit of a flick, tap on the brake, wait for it, then drop down a gear. You do have that bump on that left hander coming in there, so you have to be careful. Mm, it is a really satisfying car. It... <laughs> I know I keep saying that in this video, I do apologise. These tutorials are meant to be a bit more informative, but... It's just classic good old drifting techniques. Just be very gentle with all the control inputs from the steering to the braking to the throttle control. One thing that is needs to be stressed, most of this input I'm doing is throttle control to get the angle. I'm just catching it with the steering, that's all. I'm using the throttle to get more angle, or less angle as it were. Like there I tap on the brake to initiate the drift, wait for the transition. Nice and smooth. Balance it in second. And you have one hell of a move. <laughs> I was going to say an expletive then. Um, yeah, but I'll stop doing the... Uh... Oh, 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 Flick! <laughs> oh, I mean, that sort of move today. It's a really great car. Go out there, practice with it. Practice makes perfect, especially with project cars. Make sure you have your... Uh, inputs all set up properly whether you're using a steering wheel or you're using a joypad make sure you've got it set up to just how you want it to be fiddle with all the settings get it to a place that you like and go out there and try and master the cars and master the tracks and see just how hard you can really drift this car i really do love it i hope you do too it's so pretty it's kind of in your face it's kind of like 80s sort of yeah but it's a really lovely car. Uh, and I've... What gear am I in? I'm in first. <laughs> Smooth! So, as always, go out there, go practice with it. Go enjoy it. Go drift past people online. And just uh, generally look like a badass. And for now, I love you as always. I'll see you next video. For now, goodbye. Slowly roll back down the hill. <laughs> Why don't the handbrake stick on in this game? I said handbrake. Thank you. No. I do. Oh, I will. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> roll the outro.